Now, you clicked on this video probably because the topic of manifesting a specific person is relevant for you right now. And in this video, I want to cover two main questions. Okay, I want to cover the question, is it possible? Should you do it? And what is important when we talk about this topic? Now, after this video, I want you to go and watch my specific person guide because you can't just go out there and nitpick the information and watch one shiny object video, one quick video to feel good about it, but then actually not see any, any progress in your life when it comes to relationships, right? I want you to watch this guide because in this specific person guide video that I did a while ago, I actually included all the necessary understandings that you need to have to master this topic when it comes to relationships, when it comes to a specific person. Already, you will hear my points of view on if it's possible or not. But in this video, I want to give you like a, like a little breakdown of that. And I want to give you some very important revelations. And you should watch this video till the end. So we're going to talk about two main things. All right, we're going to talk about first, can you manifest a specific person? Like, does it actually work in consciousness using consciously the power of your imagination, right? Applying Neville Goddard's teachings, can you actually manifest a specific person? That's one question. And the second question is, should you manifest a specific person. I mean, obviously that's a personal subjective decision and everyone can decide if they should do it or not do it. But I want to give you a very important perspective that can help you to ease up on this topic. But also very important, there is a trigger warning here. Meaning if you just want to hear some, you know, some hype, some fluff, some woo-woo, some rainbows, and you just want to hear, oh yeah, you know, manifest them and they will be obsessed with you in three days and oh yeah you know they will come to you in just one day or oh yeah you know uh, manifest text messages from them this is not the right channel this is not the right video okay so on this channel we're really teaching the the the, the deep core fundamentals of neville goddard's teachings and they're there to open your eyes they're there to help you understand more about yourself it's not only about manifesting the certain things in our lives i know that this is how many people come across the manifestation teachings but there is way more to it Okay, so there's a trigger warning. I will also say things that you do not like to hear. I will also say things that will sound like harsh truths. Some people are not ready for that. There's a saying, if you turn the stone, some people are not ready for the snake that might be under it. So if you're ready and you can hear the truth and you can hear also some, some other perspectives when it comes to manifesting a specific person, then I recommend you stay in this video. If you just want to hear, you know, rose rainbows stuff like that then maybe turn this video off right now i don't care about the fuse i don't care about the watch time that much i care that you know the truth okay so if you're ready then let's just dive right into this video so like i said in the beginning right the first point of contact with manifesting for most people is usually the specific person topic right and we all have been there i mean it's it's nothing bad it's normal right we when we have this strong burning desire for this partner then of course we do everything to learn about you know how can we manifest them how can we get them back and then we stumble upon you know typical self-help and then the, the the usual dating advice right pull back go no contact stuff like that then we come into like the law of attraction where we learn okay we can attract them back and then eventually as we continue in our journey we stumble upon the law of assumption right neville's teachings and we learn about okay within we can assume the state that we are already with that partner and so we learn more about the specific person topic right and there's a whole field out there and again a lot of people in my opinion capitalize on your deep pain on your deep lack on your deep emotional state that you're in right now because they say oh yeah you know just buy buy this 100 dollar course and you will manifest your specific person um, in five days. Have these channels actually produced success stories? I mean, have you actually seen success interviews? I want to say this honestly, because I think that most channels quickly, you know, make a specific person video because they know that you're in pain, you're in suffering, you're in this emotional state, and you quickly buy this $100 course. But it's, it's just like a surface level change. It's not actually helping you to understand, you know, how to, how to approach this topic. And how to approach it in a, in, a, in a healthy way and not in a toxic way where you suffer even more, where you feel more like, you know, delusional or where it actually hurts you, right? Because you invest so much into that. So on my channel, and I will say this right now, you will find at least, I think, four, five, six success interviews that I have with people who actually master this topic because they look deeper into it. Uh, but again, I, I want to talk about this later. So first of all, again, it's the first point of contact, but I think first of all people also come across very unhealthy perspectives very unhealthy let's just say videos that just portray oh you can manifest that with just a snip of your finger and then people feel 
uh, very hurt when they notice, oh wow, there's a lot of emotions come up, there's a lot of things that I've not even been aware of that are now coming to the surface that I might need to be learned to, to let go of, right? To face consciously so that you can outgrow old identities of yourself. And then most people discover manifesting because they desire, or at least they think that they desire, to manifest a specific person, right? For example, an ex-partner, which is usually the case, right? So most people come across this topic, they come across conscious manifesting, and maybe you're watching this video right now, maybe this is one of your first videos um, because you want to manifest a specific person. Maybe you've already been in the, how I call it, the black hole of manifesting a specific person it takes you deeper and deeper and deeper. You invest a lot of time, you invest a lot of resources, you invest a lot of energy, you feel overwhelmed, and then for some days you feel good, and then you miss them again, and then you need the next... The next dopamine hit, so to speak, of the next video tells you, oh, yeah, it's possible. And, oh, yeah, you can do that. Right. And it's this, it's this loop that sometimes people lose themselves in for, for, for months, sometimes even for years. Right. So I want to answer one question for you right now. And that is my genuine belief. And that is for me a, you know, also an experience that I personally had multiple times, not just once. Also that many people that I um, help personally. So the experience is definitely, can you manifest a specific person? Yes, it is possible. You can manifest a specific person. But as you see here, there, there is a but to it. Because again, I do not just want to portray this as, oh yeah, you know, just focus on a specific person and your life will be fixed forever. There is a little bit more to it. Otherwise, you would see, you know, success stories left and right. So again, I'm not here to disempower you. You can do that. It works. That's the truth. And if that's what you wanted to hear and you're not, ready for the trigger triggering stuff that i might say next which might trigger some people then turn off the video right here it is possible yes but there is more to that okay so first of all we have to understand that the purpose of manifesting right the purpose of conscious manifestation the purpose of neville's teachings is to realize who you really are it's not purely and all the time about the desires right yes self-empowerment and self-actualization and shifting within into new states and expressing them, right? Imagining new realities and then they're being mirrored back and pushed out. That is extremely relevant for us. That's the purpose of why we're here. But through that process, we realize, wait, we are like, we are more than what we thought we are, right? We are the awareness that can shift in a new state, which is then mirrored back. We are not, we are not limited to our current reality. We're not limited to our current state, right? We can change the trajectory of our life. We can change our fate, by consciously placing our awareness on something that is right now not manifested, on something that is right now not seen and dwelling there, and then that is becoming seen, basically. That is becoming manifested, right? That is becoming tangible, which is what manifestation is, making the untangible, the unseen, seen, because we dwell in it long enough, and we shift in it, we imagine it, right? We believe it to be true. We shift within. So the purpose of manifesting, right, is deeper than just manifesting a specific person then you're, you're set for life, right? The purpose is that you free up and you 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 discover more about yourself who you really are behind your emotions which constantly come and go behind your thoughts which the, the stream of thoughts constantly changes but behind your your bodily sensations behind your external appearances it's all changing it's never there's never one constant the only constant is your i am it's your awareness of being and through never go to teachings you awaken more to that and it is essential in my opinion to to then think in states Right? Think in identities. Who am I when I have my goal? Right? Who is it that I want to be? So, to give you an example here, right? Most people say they want to manifest to manifest a lottery win. Is that possible? Yes. Is it possible to manifest a specific partner? Yes. But then you're you're not essentially thinking in states. You're not essentially thinking about who are you, because who are you when you won the lottery? Right, I, I I'm sure that people want to win the lottery. They don't essentially, you know, need it, need that money, need those finances to come from the lottery win, right? They would also be happy if you know the money pops up in in another through another way. But they want that feeling of financial security, financial abundance, financial overflow, having more than enough finances, right? Being financially stable so that they can buy certain things, invest certain things, and do things with that money, right? Because if you just have the money laying around, but you still you know, that's not what you want. You usually want to do something with that money, right? You usually want to know that when you go somewhere that you can buy this thing or that you can buy, be in this restaurant, that you go on this vacation, that you can help your family, right? You want to be this financially secure and this financially abundant person. 
Same with the specific partner, right? Who are you when this partner is in your life, right? I'm sure you, you don't want this specific partner, but then feel miserable, then feel unhappy, then want the relationship to go sideways. You know, if you genuinely are honest with yourself, what you want is you want to feel happily partnered. You right now have attached that, that feeling, that state to this one person. You say, okay, only when they're in my life, I can feel happily partnered. I can feel the love. I can feel the excitement. I can feel the thrill. I can feel the adventurous relationship dynamic, whatever you promise yourself from the specific partner. But if you think in states, then you think more like, hey, who am I when I am in this state? Well, then I'm the financially abundant person. Well, then I am, I, then I am the happily and loved and cherished partner, right? So who are you when your desire is fulfilled? That is basically the main question. Who are you when your desire is fulfilled, right? So that is, uh, I think, a healthy perspective that can help you to uh, become less attached to a you know, specific outcome. And again, like I said, this might trigger some people. And again, I told you already that it's possible to manifest a specific person, but I would also want more people in this community to open up to this perspective, perspective, because that is, I think, the essential truth, right? And I have more prepared for that. Because the cool thing is that you can now, in the here now, assume and identify with this state of being happily partnered. You don't need to wait for the person to be there to feel like, ah, okay, now finally I, I'm, I'm loved. Or finally, ah, like finally I'm in this great relationship. No, that state, that mood is available in you. And discovering, you know, who you really are, awareness, and, and thinking in states, which is, these are Neville's two core teachings, right? The teachings of I am and awareness, so that we can shift and maneuver in a new state. And also the teachings of states, that helps you tr tremendously to ask yourself, okay, who am I in the wish fulfilled? Well, I'm happily partnered. Let me know without any attachments, without any external um, binding, so to speak. Let me now assume that I am that happily partnered person, that I am happily partnered, that I'm financially stable, right? And then some people tell me, or I've, I've, I've seen this in, in, in some comments, right, where people say, oh, Nicholas, you're having a limited mindset if you say someone should not focus on something specific, right? <laughs> and, I, and I get this, right? And it's totally valid a uh, few point if you call me uh, uh, that i'm limiting you by telling you to maybe not focus on something specific um but i would honestly say you limit yourself right because your mind which is which which is limited we have to acknowledge that my mind is limited your mind is limited our mind does not have the power that our awareness that our imagination has right our imagination can go beyond mind our imagination can right now go to a place in a year from now where we already have our dream car for our mind that's not possible our mind is only bound to what is here now but you limit yourself when you think okay only when i have this specific only with the lottery win only with this specific person i can be happily partnered right then in my opinion you limit yourself because it is limiting to believe that you're only financial free when you win the lottery right it's limiting to believe that you're only happily partnered if your specific person shows up and please get me right this perspective can also help you when you still stubbornly want to say no but i want to prove it to myself i want to manifest a specific person then still this mindset can help you because you 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 can detach yourself more by dwelling actually more in or by actually discovering and noticing and seeing the truth that you can also be in a happily partnered state because that's available in you right now right here without that person to be there and then this can create this, 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 this abundance consciousness from which it is even usually easier to manifest a specific person, which you will hear me also talking about in this specific person guide that you should watch after this video, okay? So you're first the happy partner, right? You, you first are in the state and then it will be mirrored back to you, right? And remember, people come to tell you who you are. That is something you should... Um, yeah, you should, you should really note down mentally and keep always with you. People come to tell you who you are. So when you focus only on this specific person, this specific person, this specific person, but you're still not seeing yourself as happily partnered, you're still not in, you know, a, a healthy relationship kind of state, then what is it leading to? Well, you might be able to, to, to bring this partner in your life, but then I saw it many times where it, it fizzles out again, it goes sideways. The question is, who do you want to be? 
right? It doesn't lead you or doesn't serve you anything if you are able to manifest this person in because you focus on the text, you focus on them showing up, you focus on them being there, and then they are there, but then you don't feel that this is a happily partnership, right? Do you just want that person to be there? Then, okay, go for it. But I'm sure what you essentially want and you right now think you want it with this person as a happy partnership, right? So who are you when this would be there? If you would just look at you, right? And you would just look at, okay, who am I in this case then? Then I'm happily partnered. I want to be in this fulfilling relationship, right? But that's a state that no matter on if someone is there right now or who is there right now or who is not there right now, that you can assume for yourself right now to be true, that you can awaken in yourself right now. So like Neville said, change your conception of yourself and you will automatically change the world in which you live. Do not try to change people. Their messages telling you who you are. Right? Their messages telling you who you are. So if you focus on being happily partnered, well, someone will enter your life that will reflect that. And like I will say later, that doesn't ex exclude your SP. So if you go more general, I'm not forcing you to do that. I'm just advising you and I, w I just want to show you this perspective to open up more, to become less attached. Then, then it can be your SP, but it can also be someone else. But you know, it's not about that person. They can just reflect who you are. They can just reflect what you have a life inside of yourself. Right? Revalue yourself and they will confirm the change. They will tell you in form of their actions and you know the, the, the world based on what is showing up will tell you who you are. And you can now, without that, without your world to be a certain way, you could right now already dwell in a state of being happily partnered. You don't need that SP to be there to feel happily partnered. That is a truth that I think many, again, people don't want to tell you because they just want to capitalize on your emotional, turbulent and agitated state because they know that when they tell you all of these shiny things like manifest your SP, manifest them, manifest them, that you will buy their $100 course and stuff like that. But And you can do that. Like I told you, you can do that. Um... But usually, your higher self, right, consciousness, my ways are higher than yours, is what it's saying in the Bible, right? We can give the coordinates to a state, to who we want to be, but how that state is expressed, we sometimes don't have the intelligence to figure that out. But we limit ourselves sometimes by thinking it needs to come exactly through that way. And that's just the message that I want to portray. It can come through that specific way. You can manifest a specific person. Yes, it's a truth, but... That usually also comes with a lot of emotional turbulence and you can ease yourself up by asking yourself okay so this is a person right this is an appearance in consciousness i've attached all my happiness and love and feeling happily partnered into this person and i think that only when they show up i can finally have all of this exciting relationship feelings and states and if asking yourself when they then show up who are you then well then you are in all of these amazing states but so you can now start to make them life without Focusing on the specific person, you can now ask yourself, who would you be if you have a, a thriving relationship in your life, right? How would you feel? What mood would you have alive? And focus on that and then let the world take care of it in its own intelligence, right? Your higher self knows way better who that ideal person will be. And that's the truth, right? And it doesn't exclude your SP by you going to the end of being happily partnered. It doesn't exclude your SP. It can still be your SP. And what I always recommend is you can still come back and include the specifics if you want to later, but it can be super helpful to, to really ask yourself, who do you want to be, right? In terms of the finances, who are you when you have that lottery win, right? Then you are a financially abundant person. Then you can invest and you can afford nice things. But that state where you're able to invest, where you feel financially abundant, why not assume that and not attach it to, oh, but it needs to come through the lottery win. Same with the relationship. Right, so focusing on a specific person usually, and I think most of you will agree, usually leads to emotional turbulences, drama, envy, attachment, um, and, and yeah, all this, all this up and down. Right, people become desperate, they come, they become obsessed. Trust me, I've been now oh, five years, six years, eight years, consciously working with people and actively working with people, and I've seen it all. I've seen people come to me who really understand Neville's teachings, and they. They already feel calm. They already feel internally. They have they have cleaned up the inner world, and they just want to manifest a specific person. But they know it's they're also fine if they if they wouldn't get it, right? They are really mature when it comes to that, and those people are usually very easily able to actually make it happen, and then things are good, right? 
But I've also seen the opposite. I've also seen people in their most darkest, most lowest place, really actually depressed, obsessed, having very toxic, very unhealthy traits, stalking, whatever it might be, just to get this one person. And they said, you know, if I don't get this person, I don't even see a, I don't even have a will to maybe live any longer because this person is my life. And I think we would all agree that this is a, yeah, a very unhealthy and a very, uh, a not wrong place to come from, but, but, but you see, then it's first of all time to, to, um, to clean up your inner world. Then it's first of all time to see what do you want? Why do you want it? Which void do you try to fill up and, and stuff like that, right? To, to learn to come from a way more peaceful perspective, which in our program, we can help you to do that if that is your desire, by the way. So you can check this out in the video description and pinned comments. But I've, I've, I've actually seen it all. I've seen people wanting to manifest a specific, a specific person and succeeding in that. But many success stories on that, you will find them in my success interview playlist on my YouTube channel. And that's proof that it works. But if you ask me if I would recommend that, well, you kind of hear my answer in this video. I'd recommend it not in the beginning. I'd recommend it first to actually go general, ask yourself who you want to be and do the, and, you know, spiritually mature, emotionally mature, physic uh, physically and also uh, uh, psychologically mature and go to a place where you are no longer in this attached, needy, obsessive kind of like state. And you could do it just out of a preference mood, but not I need this. And if I don't have this, I will never be happily partnered. You should see and understand for yourself that you can be happily partnered also without this person. If this person would get abducted by aliens, you still have within you that state of, of being happily partnered, which will then be expressed through other people in your life. And that's the truth, right? Because those who go seeking for love only make manifest their own lovelessness and the loveless never find love, right? Only the loving find love. Only what we have already alive within ourselves is what we can see back. And they never have to seek for it. But if you're all right and happily partnered, then you're not attaching it to, oh, but it needs to be this person so that I can feel happily partnered. No, you will see that you can feel happily partnered right now without someone specific, without anyone to be there. You can close your eyes, imagine scenes, hear congratulations on feeling happily partnered. Right? Because most are in a lack of consciousness and they're really, you know, thinking that, okay, if it's not this, if it's not coming through that way, if it's not this, then... Uh, yeah, I can't have this state or I can't feel this way. But remember, on this level, we don't have the intelligence. On this level, right? In, on this level, while you're listening to this video right now, we don't have the intelligence to work out perfectly all the ways. On this level, we can only look in our world, see what is triggering us, see the world is pointing to us constantly and is, is telling us, you know, what do we desire? Where can we grow? And if you feel like, hmm, there's not a partner, I want to be happily partnered. You think right now, okay, it's this person that will lead me to a happily partnered state. And even if you think that, and then you put yourself in the, in the shoes of, okay, let's just say they would be there and they would be in your life. But then you just look at you again. Who would you be then? Who do you want to be? You then still want to be happily partnered. But you now only say, oh, it can only be with this person. But why not just go to a state where you can happily partner right now without any attachments to anything? And that can, that can, that can open you up. And life can actually give you a lot of opportunities. And again, you can at any point in time also include specific scenes. I told you it's possible, but also be open to this perspective. Right? So wake up and realize that all states are now available in yourself. That is true self-empowerment. That is true abundance. That is a true flow of life. Right? When you don't think, oh, I need that specific thing. It's fun to manifest specific things. Trust me, it's a lot of fun. You can prove it. You will see that it works. Right? But... Like I told you, I noticed or I, I experienced it all. People who wanted an SP manifested it. People who wanted an SP later changed their mind and it was someone else that they eventually manifested, right? That made them happily partnered. And I have people who, who stubborn in a stubborn way stayed with it and felt very overwhelmed. And after one year, there was still no change. After one year, there was still nothing happened and they felt frustrated. And then they, they tried to, in general, see themselves happily partnered. And after five days, someone entered their lives because they opened up. All is possible. You have to decide, I'm not here to choose for you what you should do, but I also want to remind you that, um, yeah, this can be a very healthy perspective to approach it from. So if we go back to the beginning, right, can you manifest a specific person? Yes. Should you manifest a specific person? It depends. It depends on your level of majority, it depends on your level of 
yeah, how, how much, let's just say, inner, inner work basically you have done when it comes to manifesting, when it comes to this topic, right? But I usually tend more to the side of asking yourself, who would you be when your wish is fulfilled, right? Who are you when your desire is fulfilled? Because that is what you can claim and assume and shift into right now. Who are you when you have all the financial resources? Well, you're a financially abundant person. What would imply that? How would you buy something in a grocery store? You can assume that state right now and let it let it be externalized through whatever bridge, right? Or you want to be uh, healthy, right? You can assume that state right now. You don't need to focus on every little si single symptom. You could right now go to the end state and then let them be, in a sense, um, manifest it being away in its own way. So I'm sure you get the message. But again, if you want more clarity, watch this video. It's way more in detail. It's way deeper. I'm giving examples. I'm sharing successes. I'm saying what to focus on, what not to focus on, Neville's perspectives and what you can practically apply right now. Um, but as long as your specific person is the main center of your life, I would say you limit yourself, right? You can manifest it, yes, but it should not be the main center of your life. The main center of your life should be what do you want, who do you want to be, how do you want to express yourself, connecting to your true self, understanding who you really are, giving yourself within the states, the moods, the feelings that you want to feel right now, regardless of what the world shows you, that's true self-empowerment. That's true freedom, right? And play with specific things just to prove to yourself that yes, you also do have the power to manifest specific things. I'm not here to limit you, but I'm also here to not sugarcoat things. And I want to show you actually also this perspective, right? So I'm definitely keen to know your feedback in the comments down below. Please let me know your feedback. If you manifest an SP, what do you think about it? What do you think about this topic in general in the manifestation space? Watch this video, please. It will open your eyes. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye, guys.